I hate jellyfish. And now they're in space. Can't they just leave the things I love alone? Why jellyfish? Why? Hey everyone, Trace here coming at you for our weekly D-News Space Update. Jellyfish don't really seem like a space creature, except maybe in the very first episode of TNG, Encounter at Farpoint, but that was a weird episode. Jellyfish are one of the oldest multi-organ species still in existence today, and they swim terrifyingly through every ocean on the world. Jellyfish are getting to be a problem though. Humans are overfishing the oceans, and in doing so, we're killing their natural predators. Now jellyfish populations are exploding all over the world, and when currents and temperatures align, they collect into swarms called blooms. Blooms are bad, like really, really bad. They can mess up anything that connects to the water. So they've clogged up intakes to power plants, they've messed up fishing nets and tourism at beaches and ocean sides. They eat like crazy, they reproduce both sexually and asexually, they multiply aggressively, and they are nearly indestructible which is one of the reasons they are so evil. So what do jellyfish have to do with space though? They have structures that mimic our own. So we can use these animals to test how babies would perform in space. Jellyfish need gravity. Though some have light sensing structures, they can't actually see images, just sense if there's light or not. In pockets on the dome of the jellyfish are little crystals of calcium sulfate and tiny little hairs, not unlike in our inner ear. The crystals move around and hit those hairs, telling the jellyfish which way is up. Astronauts took jellyfish to up to the International Space Station to discover what would happen to these structures if the jellyfish were raised in zero G. Aside from the terrifying possibilities of jellyfish taking over the ISS, this is a pretty cool experiment. According to the National Institutes of Health papers that were published from the study, the jellyfish grew the structures the same way as jellyfish in the oceans back here on Earth, but when they were brought back down, almost 20% of them had trouble swimming and figuring out how this gravity thing worked. So what did we learn? We can hypothesize that if we have babies in space and they don't experience planetary gravity until they're older, we might have a generation of humans with weird movement issues. Though chances are they'd be amazing at flying through the low gravity environment of space, right? So, <laughs> silver lining? I really don't like jellyfish, but I guess they can help science. So maybe they're not that bad. Do you have an idea of animal experiments that we could do in space? Think about it and leave a comment below and subscribe to DNews the most fascinating stories from our planet every day.